Simon O'Donnell knows what it is like to hold his bat in the air at Lords with a hundred against his name. He's played in a winning World Cup cricket team as a bludgeoning all-rounder, captained his state and is the last person to have ever played both Australian rules football and cricket at the highest level. He also knows what it is like to win a Melbourne Cup, or at least to think you have won a Melbourne Cup. That knowledge was cruelly ripped away after 30 seconds, when a photo finish revealed his horse Bauer had in fact run second to viewed in 2008. The closest finish in the 150-year history of the race. Oh, I think it was a very positive experience. Um, I, I still can't remember clearly the last 400 metres. When he started coming out of the pack, your system goes haywire. And when you could see that it was just going to be him or viewed, um, you know, that, that was just an enormous thrill. Um, very hard to explain and put words to it, but I'd like to sense it again, and I'd like to sense it a half inch better than I did the last time. O'Donnell, who with Terry Henderson runs OTI Racing, could have up to four runners in this year's Emirates Melbourne Cup, as his quest to win Australia's greatest race grows stronger every year. Henderson, who won the 1995 Melbourne Cup with Dorimus, and O'Donnell joined forces a dozen years ago and have been key players in the trend to buy overseas stairs for a crack at the cup. Vanagar, Drunken Sailor and Bauer have been here before. And Sahara's son, who ran in today's Bendigo Cup, is on his first trip. Look there, I think there's a couple of characteristics. Um, they've got to have a strong finish. Uh, they've got to be able to see out the distance, preferably on top of the ground because the cup over most years is on good ground. Uh, and it, these days we like to try and buy the younger horses. So maybe even the first year out here, as is a case with, say, Managar and Bauer and, and also Drunken Sailor, um, that first year gives them great experience to go on to the second year. So horses that are young enough to have two or three preps. O'Donnell, who says his racing bug is curable only by death, agrees OTI has refined its search for a cup winner down the years. Like, they've got to be able to stay. Um, that in itself has changed a little bit um, in the last few years. And now we're looking for horses that can stay at 28 and 3,000 metres there, suddenly in the frame. You know, they used to be one-pace plotters, and I challenge anyone to call American a one-pace plotter. Hopefully we get here. Win, lose or draw this year, O'Donnell reckons the quest for a cup is as big an adrenaline rush as his glory days as a cricketer and footballer. It's a different emotion. I think it's better. I think in sport, individually or with a team, you know, you're in control of your own destiny to an extent. In this game, you're just not. You know, once the horse is in the hands of the trainer, once they're on the way to the barrier, uh, once it rains, once you draw a barrier 18 of 18, all those things, they're just completely out of your control. There's, there's nothing you are in control of. And I, I think that's the great thrill of it. Yet you've got no hope of having any sense of control of the whole thing to the Amy Victoria Derby now and the $1.5 million Blue Riband Classic over 2,500 metres on Saturday took shape at the Carnival's live site at Crown Riverside today with the barrier draw. Favourite Manawanui strengthened his position when trainer Ron Lehman's Derby bowler signalled barrier eight. Manawanui has been one of the revelations of the spring and Lehman is confident he will handle the distance as well as any other runner. The government have been over the distance. It's the first time. Um, I feel the horse will, my horse will settle and I hope that will make sure he gets the journey then. Manawanui's case was strengthened with Sabraj drawing 16, much to Mike Maroney's disappointment. Yeah, it's going to make it a little bit more difficult for Ollie. It's going to be his job now to sort that out, but um, yeah, it does make it a little bit tougher. And finally, Simon O'Donnell's Cup quest continued with the running of the Jayco Bendigo Cup today, with Sahara Sun on trial for a cup start. The other cup interest centred on Lloyd Williams' imported stair at first sight, who was favourite and stablemate Tanby. At first sight is motoring home, but Tanby's two and a half in front. At first sight won't peg him back, he's no bridesmaid today. Tanby is going to win the cup, one at two lengths. At first sight, second, Western symbol, third. Then Boom and Zoom, they were followed by Olympic win, Sunset Cafe, Sahara Sun, back in black, innocent lady, dream peddler. Join us again tomorrow for another bite out of the Victorian Spring Racing Carnival.